What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I talk about all things beauty, self-care, skincare, and sometimes random things in between. This video is going to be a little bit of everything because this is an Amazon favorites video. I think the sparrows are going crazy outside. If you guys have these birds around you, I know they're everywhere, but they are aggressive. I go on my morning walks and they like dive bomb, like they want to peck me in the head and something must be going on out there because they're freaking out. I think they have eggs in their nest. Um, and I saw a guy get pecked in the head on TikTok and I really, I will be pissed if that happens to me. They haven't hit me, but they like fly in my face and then fly away. So this is a random assortment. We've got makeup, skincare, hair care, home items, random items, some items that are helping me on my weight loss journey and everything in between. First up, I have a product that I think could be a little bit controversial, but I just want to preface this by saying I have been dealing with hormonal acne and I've been dealing with more breakouts than usual and I finally found a place in my skincare routine where my face is generally clear and I really do think that these are helping me. That's the only reason why I use them and then I just felt like I can't not share this information because I if it could help somebody else who's dealing with acne, then I want to share it. And I will get into how I'm trying not to make this wasteful in a minute. Maybe you guys have heard of these, but these are the Clean Skin Club towels. So they are disposable face towels. This pack is the XL pack. I believe it comes with 50 of them and they are really large towels. So they are meant to stop you from using you know, your damp, dirty towels that might be hanging in your bathroom to dry your face, especially if you are just washing your face, you're not like getting in the shower and showering. If you're just going in your bathroom to wash your face, then it's great to use a product like this because you know you're not using something that's infested with bacteria. And I'm not saying I don't wash my towels. I definitely do wash my towels very, very often. I do a lot of laundry, but Something is to be said about this concept because I'm telling you it helps me and I feel like it would help a lot of people who are dealing with a mystery acne, I guess I would call it. It just helps you rule out that towel being the cause of your breakouts. But I will say a couple things make these a little bit better. So these are 100% biodegradable and compostable. They were created to eliminate the transfer of bacteria from your bathroom towels to your face and be an all around staple in your beauty routine. So the way that I use these, and I do only use them once on my face to dry my face, but after I'm done drying my face with one of these, I, and it's a little bit annoying, it's probably annoying for my boyfriend, but after I'm done using this to dry my face, I will set it on the counter next to the sink, and I do dusting with these, I use them to clean with cleaning spray in the bathroom, and so maybe once a day or every other day, I will use one of these for my face, and then I will use them to clean my bathroom and then I will throw them away and they are biodegradable so I wanted to share that because I know it's not the best for the environment and there's alternatives for sure and you can just wash your makeup towels and everything but if you're really just having like mystery acne it could very well be that you have a damp environment in your bathroom which I do this is my number one favorite from Amazon I wanted to get it out of the way and if you guys know somebody who might be struggling maybe introduce them to something like this it might help a lot okay the next products I want to talk about I really don't know if they're gonna go on sale but I just want to share them because I do purchase some of my La Roche Posay products from Amazon sometimes they're a little bit cheaper than Target so I will purchase them from there and I have two favorites that I've been using consistently recently first up this one has been a staple in my skincare routine for over a year this is the hydrating gentle cleanser I like that it has a pump I use this one more at nighttime than in the morning because I like to use something gel and more awakening in the morning and something more like creamy at night if that makes sense and it leaves more moisture in my skin this is great for that and it is super affordable it comes with a ton this lasts me a really really long time especially if you just use it for your face 
nightly or occasionally. I like to play around with a lot of different cleansers, but this is a staple. This next product, this is new to me, but I got sucked in from TikTok. It is the Anthelios Tinted Mineral SPF. It has such a beautiful tint on the skin. It's a liquidy product, but it has a really nice kind of tinted coverage to it, and it is a nice high SPF. I've been going on walks every single day as part of my weight loss journey, and I like to make sure I'm always protected with SPF. We do have multiple sun care products in this video, but this is one that I really like for the face. And one that I don't have with me is actually my daily facial SPF, and that is also Anthelios, and I think it's called Melt In Milk. If you guys are ever wondering what my daily SPF is, that is what I wear on my face. It should also be available on Amazon. I do hope that it goes on sale because I'll pick up some of my staples. An item that I was too impatient to wait for Prime. Wait for the sale, you guys, but I couldn't. And I wanted to purchase these for my walks. Again, this is also a sun care product and they are the UV patches. So I know there's a couple different brands. I will link the ones that I did purchase. They just haven't arrived to me yet. They're the little UV flower patches that turn purple when you need to reapply your sunscreen. Then you reapply your sunscreen over top and they go back to being clear. I think that is such an ingenious concept and so great, especially if maybe you have kids that you really wanna make sure their SPF is going strong. Such an incredible product. I cannot wait to incorporate that into my routine and really see how long my SPF lasts when I'm outside in direct sunlight. If this prime sale is like other prime sales, this product should be on sale. This is my favorite body sunscreen right now. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist SPF 70. So a nice high SPF. But what I like the most about this is it kind of gives you that model glow like the Nivea body lotion gives you but in an SPF. So really pretty body glow. Um, it just sits well on the skin. It's very light and airy. It's not heavy. And the fact that it's SPF 70 is really great. This does not clog my pores. I've been dealing with KP again on my arms. This does not like irritate it or make it worse. I've been testing different sunscreens to see if one of them is the culprit. And my KP has been getting better, which tells me this one is not doing it to me. I've been consistently using Using this as my spray SPF and I'm pretty sure Amazon has a three pack another product that I think is helping with my bumpy skin on my arms is this gold bond lotion this is the radiance renewal hydrating lotion this is a new look like the bottles a new look so sometimes things go on sale when there's a new bottle you might get the old bottle but it might be on sale so I think this could be a good Amazon find as well this has some exfoliating properties in it so it's gonna help to renew and resurface that skin texture it has African shea butter coconut oil and cocoa butter it says it exfoliates hydrates and locks in moisture for 24 hours it's a really thick moisturizer sometimes I think that's better for skin types like mine. I'm super dry, but then I also have that KP. So I've been using this nightly after my shower routine just on my arms as like a tester to see if it's helping and my bumps have gone down. So I think that this is a helpful and super affordable lotion product for that. Now I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I've found a cure for stretch marks because I absolutely haven't, but I will tell you before I started my weight loss journey, um, so at my heaviest weight and whatever the heck was going on with me, I started to develop some stretch marks on my hips and it kind of was a wake up call for me because I think I had body dysmorphia but in the opposite direction. Like I, I've always carried my weight pretty well. Um, so as I gained it over COVID, more and more weight, I was like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> like I'm holding it fine, it's fine. Um, and I had a little bit of a wake-up call when I developed the stretch mark. So long story short, I have been trying a ton of different body oil products and bio oil and other products that claim to help stretch marks. It is about to downpour, so if you guys hear rain hitting my air conditioner, it is what it is. Um, but the birds stopped chirping, so that's good. Anyways, my stretch marks are still there even though I've lost a significant amount of weight. Um, but I am trying to work this product into the stretch marks every single night 
and just to the skin around the area, my hips, my stomach, any skin that might be shrinking or growing. So you don't necessarily have to be gaining weight or losing weight to get stretch marks. It just happens sometimes with genetics, sometimes if you are lifting weights, which I was at the time. Um, it can happen if you grow your muscles big enough you can get stretch marks I just want to say there's nothing wrong with them there's nothing wrong with stretch marks I'm just not used to having them so I do want to do something about it and I found a product that I swear I actually I want to talk about two products one of them I don't have with me um, and one I do but I swear this is making a difference so this one is I think a fan favorite because I looked up what would help and this was on a bunch of different websites. This is the Palmer Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. Super affordable. I've just been putting a couple pumps into my hands and literally just rubbing my hips right where the stretch marks are. And I think that this is going to help combat future ones since my skin might be changing a little bit with weight loss. It has vitamin E in it and I am not a doctor but you guys I'm pretty sure vitamin E and retinol and other products like that are the only products that are like clinically studied to help reduce stretch marks. So you want to look for products that actually have vitamin E or retinol or even like go to the dermatologist because they'll have something stronger for you. My stretch marks are going from being dark to being light. So they're matching my skin tone a little bit better and I don't know if that's because I'm losing weight because I'm using this or the other product I'm about to mention. The next product that I use alongside this that I think has been helping my stretch marks, I'm trying not to get flagged here, but it it's a product, it's a soap product that's meant to lighten certain areas on your body. Um, it has kojic acid in it, which is supposed to be good for lightening skin, um, discoloration, so like sunspots. I started using it on my stretch marks because I thought, okay, discoloration, I've got these darker stretch marks, and I think it's lightening them. So the kojic acid, I really do think works. You just lather up the soap in the shower or when you get out or whatever. Um, you gotta let it sit for a minute on your skin and then you rinse it off. So that's what I've been doing in the shower. I bought a two pack from Amazon. I'm just gonna, you do with that what you will with that one. We're gonna talk about some stuff that has been helping me on my weight loss journey, fitness journey, um, all of that. So I don't want to get too far into it because once I hit my goal of all goals, which is probably going to be soon, I want to do a video talking about it because I've been struggling with this for a very long time. But I do have products that have just entered my life or I've found a new appreciation for during this journey and a lot of them are available on Amazon. So let's go. First up, I've been doing a lot of cooking at home. I've been using these for over a year. A lot of these products are like tried and true products, but these I've been using for probably two years now and they're my favorite mixing bowls of all time. And I feel like if you don't have a rubber bottom mixing bowl, you're gonna need these. And they'd also make a really good gift for anybody who is moving into their first home or college kids going to their apartment, everything that you can think of. I mean, everybody needs these. So these are from the brand OXO, and if you know me, then you probably know I'm a little bit of an OXO ho. Like, I like my kitchen products to all be similar brands. I know that that's gotta be so annoying to some people, but I like to have everything from a brand and right now it's OXO and it comes with three sizes. They each have a rubber bottom. I know Amazon has this color story that I have here with the blues and grays, but they also have white, a set of all white, and I kind of want those too when I move. I use these for everything. I use the small one for my salmon. I've been doing air fryer salmon. Um, I use the big one for everything baked everything. So if I'm making cupcakes or brownies or protein muffins or anything like that, they don't get super scratched either. I mean, the big one is probably the most scratched. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like the scratches aren't even affecting it. Like it doesn't even matter. They're like indestructible. Super sturdy, not going to go anywhere when you're mixing, whether you're mixing by hand or with an electronic mixer. This could be the most boring thing I've ever shared, but I can't live without them. So one of my favorite kitchen products ever. My food scale is one of Amazon's best sellers. Food scales It is probably going to be on sale and it was already super cheap before the sale. Um, this thing is as simple as it gets. It's tiny. So it fits in my cupboard. I actually leave it like standing upright in one of my cupboards. 
Um, it's got every unit you need. It's got the ounces, grams, fluid ounces, all of that. It's super precise. It does what you need it to do and it's super affordable. I don't think there's a reason to purchase a super expensive food scale personally in my opinion. This is really easy to clean also and I use it for all of my measuring for like meats and honestly everything but like salmon and meat mostly like chicken and whatever um, I've been using it for but I can't live without this right now and I know that this is probably going to go on sale because it is one of Amazon's best sellers. So I got a wave on my TikTok for you page that was all about the Ninja Creamy. It was all about the protein ice creams and the healthy ice cream and I got sucked in. So I did purchase a Ninja Creamy and I have been making protein ice cream and I've been having it often and it's helping me so much you guys. Protein is such a huge, huge step in the weight loss journey. I'm trying to do this the right way. I'm trying to do this while maintaining and building muscle. So protein is key and the Ninja Creamy is life. Is the Ninja Creamy a fad? Probably. It's probably not going to be as big next year, but it is definitely helping me. Um, but I don't think you can find it online. I don't think you can find it practically anywhere so that's not what we're talking about here but if you have also been sucked into the ninja creamy there's a couple things that you can get on amazon that will make your life easier while making protein ice cream one is the extra cups the extra ninja creamy cups because mine only came with two and i'm constantly wanting to make a new recipe but not having a ninja creamy cup so amazon does have their own brand of Ninja Creamy Cups, so that is a really good Amazon buy. But what I purchased myself off of Amazon that ended up being a better deal than any grocery store is PB2. If you haven't heard of PB2, it's powdered peanut butter. And if you're on a weight loss journey, you know that peanut butter actually is shockingly high in calories. So these, along with the natural Skippy that I'm using, are the lowest calorie ones that I have found. These are powdered, so I only use them in my creamy recipes for my protein ice cream. So like peanut butter chocolate ice cream, chocolate ice cream, you name it, there's a recipe out there for it. But I bought these in a two pack because I could not find the cocoa powder one in stores. I could only find this one, which is the powdered peanut butter. But I wanted the peanut powder with cocoa for some of my recipes. So bought together, they actually were cheaper than in store and way more convenient. So one of my favorite Amazon buys, I don't know if food and stuff goes on sale during Prime Day. If it does, I might need to pick up more because I go through it pretty quickly now. The chocolate one is only 50 calories for two tablespoons and the peanut butter one is 60 calories for two tablespoons. So really not that bad. At the start of my health journey, I did get blood work done and I'm super deficient in vitamin D and vitamin B. So I am taking my multivitamins, I'm taking probiotics, I'm trying to help my gut, if you will. I think some of that stuff is so scammy, so I'm not even going to get into it. Um, but I do think prebiotics and probiotics are important. But I am deficient in vitamin D, so I found my favorite vitamin D gummy. It is the Ollie Hello Happy Gummy Worms for an upbeat mood. I call these my happy worms. I eat two happy worms a day. And so at first when I tried these, um, I let my boyfriend try one and he said that it tasted like a pool noodle, to which I agreed. But as I ate them more... I really, really started to love the flavor. It's like a tropical uh, pineapple, orange, tropical flavor. I don't think it tastes like pool noodle anymore, but I'm actually quite addicted to the flavor of these. This is probably my favorite Ali gummy vitamin flavor. And they're vitamin D and saffron, which is so random. But let me read the side, because I read it the other day and I was like, this is so cute. So it says, saffron is a super spice. A plant-powered wonder helps to boost serotonin. It's one of the most valuable spices on the planet and has been harvested by hand for centuries. And then vitamin D is a happy moods bestie. It's a powerhouse that goes straight to the source to support cellular brain health and provide antioxidant benefits. All I know is I'm super deficient, so I need to take it, and this is how I'm taking it, and I love them. I love them. These are basic Velcro angle straps with a hook so that you can do your kickbacks on the pulley machine and not have to worry about using the gym's attachments 
or you know using an attachment that's not quite made for the ankle I know that I've done that plenty of times these are not expensive at all these would make a great gift also if you guys know anyone who loves a good leg day um, who wants to share the dirty gym equipment you know I work at a gym so I also bought a pair for the public but these are my private pair and it's so easy to just throw them on your ankles and be ready to go instead of like if you only have one attachment switching between legs and stuff like that super easy to throw in your gym bag and they are affordable and maybe they'll be on sale and then a quick shout out to my favorite pre-workout brand Alani Nutrition they have a lot of their products on Amazon pre-workout and energy drinks are both on Amazon um, I use both so sometimes I will use the powder pre-workout sometimes I will just sip on one of their energy drinks I'm obsessed with Alani and right now they're the only brand that I'm using for pre-workout purposes but I do have a caffeine addiction so I'm trying to cut back currently am I no am I trying to sort of this next favorite almost slipped past me and I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see it I'm not going to show you the one I'm wearing just because I'm not there yet <laughs> but I do have my belly button pierced and if you guys have a belly button piercing you know that sometimes if you like to wear high-waisted pants or high-waisted jeans in particular they can like get caught on the ball because a typical piercing like this one that I had in is a ball on either side of the piercing so I purchased this really cool product it's a belly ring but it's a clip hopefully you guys can see it just clips on and it has a smooth surface in the front so you have no twist on balls or anything it's still a piercing it's not like a clip on earring you have to have your belly pierced but it clips on it's kind of hard to do at first and it just leaves you with a really pretty gold like line instead of a double ball I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture so that you guys can see what I'm talking about because it's so small and difficult to talk about but it is a game changer if these are going on sale I will be buying them this is a really good Amazon buy because sometimes they do have really good sales Crest white strips. I don't feel like I need to say anything about it. So this is how I whiten my teeth. I really could stand to do another set of them. I just am too lazy, but super worth it. And they work. <laughs> Every makeup girly needs a good triangle puff. And I bought this pink pack of puffs. How cute. Off of Amazon. And they are literally perfect. They are super soft. They're not like massive, but they're also not tiny. And it comes with a bunch of them. I have one that I'm using right now and I already cleaned it. So it survives a good washing, which is nice. Um, but I'm loving pink powder and I think nothing is cuter than some pink puffs with your pink powder. And when I say these are massively affordable, like they're so cheap <laughs> they are so cheap and so good I know that there's like always a chance that you're gonna get a crappy one so I'm gonna link the exact ones that I bought for you guys when I tell you this is one of my most asked questions on every single platform whenever I post a makeup look I'm getting questions about my eyelashes so I'm an idiot and I didn't wear them in this video but I'm wearing them in almost every single other video and I always get questions on what lashes I'm wearing I've shared these in multiple favorites videos and I'm gonna talk about them one more time these better not sell out ever <laughs> I need to pick up more actually so I'm gonna add some to my cart this is the second time I've repurchased the same exact style I will link them I'm pretty sure they're called geo color style 27 they're under $10 it comes with 14 pairs they are the most sultry wispy shadowy like mysterious like I don't even know they give you that like they give you such a good look such a good look <laughs> the fact that they are under ten dollars still blows my mind it really does so the only reason I'm gonna include this drugstore product is because the many times that I've went to purchase this in store somebody has tampered with it <laughs> and I cannot stand not knowing if my products have been touched like if I go home this might be a little crazy but if I go home and I see that something has been swatched I will take it back because I cannot deal with that I will think about it way too much and I can't deal with it so if you have a chance to pick up 
a product like this on sale on Amazon, I definitely would. And this is my favorite tinted serum from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum in the shade Rosy Light. And spoiler alert, I'm trying the Maybelline one and I still like this one better. But I want to do a side-by-side -side and really confirm my thoughts on that. The Maybelline one is also available on Amazon, you guys, and I have tried it and it is beautiful, but I still have more of a fondness towards this one. Just because I've used it a lot longer, I need to see them side by side though, they are so similar. But this has just been a ride or die drugstore product for me. But like I said, I've gone to repurchase the Rosy Light and it's been like, I'd open it up and it's been dripped all over the place and I just can't deal with that. So you can purchase it off of Amazon or anywhere and you know that it hasn't been touched. Okay, so bear with me because the rest of this that I physically have with me is hair care and then I have a couple products that I couldn't bring up here that I want to talk about but a lot of these are hair care and I am on a hair growth journey and I've been getting so many so many comments from my family that my hair is looking super super long and people are asking me like do you have extensions in like what the heck is going on and I'm like no no I don't <laughs> and I don't feel like it's that long and I feel like it, if anything it's a little bit thinner like I'm losing some hair. But whatever I'm doing, it's working. So I wanna share some of my favorites. First up, this one is pretty pricey and I did purchase mine from Sephora, but they do have it on Amazon. This is the Oribe Gold Lust Transformative Mask and this is the smaller size. This is one of the only hair care products in shower that I noticed immediately after I blow dried my hair. I was like, okay, the texture is softer. It's looking shinier and healthier. Like something I just used is really, really working. So I use it sparingly because it's so pricey. But on the days that I use this, on like my really good hair wash days, my hair is so, so soft. It really is transformative. So highly recommend, especially if you're wanting like a bougie hair care product, you need to try this one. I love leave-in conditioner. I know that you guys don't know this about me because I don't talk about hair a lot over here, but I love leave-in conditioner. I love a heat protectant. I love it so much. I love the way that it makes my hair feel. I love how it feels like I'm doing something good for my hair and I love it when it smells good. So I recently rediscovered my love for this Whey Leave-In Conditioner and I know that this is a bestseller on Amazon. It smells so good, you guys. To me, it smells like hair care, like, but it smells like a salon. It smells amazing. I love this. It's a really good leave-in conditioner. It does make my hair feel nice and soft and luxury, but I love the way that it makes me smell. Like, It gives me confidence to smell good. Like, I love smelling good. And when I know that my hair is smelling like this, like it's smelling super fresh and just like expensive, it gives me a vibe that I carry with me for the rest of my day. <laughs> if you know, you know. There's just something about your hair smelling good. It just sets you up for success. And I feel like this does that. I've been wearing slick back ponies for multiple reasons. It's easier for me to get my hair in a style like this during the heat and humidity and be able to film TikToks and videos and things and feel somewhat good about my hair than it is to style it with heat. Um, I just can't be bothered sometimes. <laughs> so I have been slicking back a lot. So I have a couple products. I think I recently shared these in a favorites video actually, but this one, I'm sure you guys are gonna see during the sale. It's the wax stick, the hair wax stick. This is my first step in getting my hair slicked back into a pony like this. It gets all the flyaways without feeling crunchy or hard or anything like that. And I've said this before, but if you have less flyaways than me, you probably only need this for a really nice slicked back but comfortable pony. It's not gonna be crispy and hard, nice and comfortable, um, but if you have a ton of flyaways, you're gonna need the next product. So this next product is an absolute must have. I don't care where you get it from. If you are doing slick back ponies or slick back buns of any kind, or even if you just want a hairspray that is going to work wonders, you need to try the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray for blasting hold. And it says spike, cement, finish, screaming hold. 
This is what gets every last flyaway to stick to my head and this slick pony will last the rest of my night through my workout confidently with over the ear headphones that go back and forth on my head. This is going to do it. I've seen this in the background of the Kardashians multiple times. You know how they cover stuff up? I've seen this many times. I can just cop it just by the top alone. Um, but I know that the professionals in that industry are using this product and it's just because it's so good. It doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't flake. I have dark hair, so I cannot deal with any product that's going to flake. This doesn't do that. It holds it down, but it still doesn't feel like a nasty crispy mess like it's still fairly comfortable feeling but if you really use a lot of this it's gonna be spiked down hard as a rock glued to your head so there's a time and place for that and I feel like everybody needs this if you do any kind of styling like that you need it one last hair care product again if I was a psychic, I would say that maybe this brand would go on sale during Prime. This is the Color Wow Dream Coat that everyone is talking about. And it's so funny because, well, it's not funny, but I had this in my collection. I had no idea that everyone was raging over it. And then I finally used it properly. And my hair was like, again, transformed. It's just, it's not something you can use every single day or every time you style. It's very specific. It has specific directions. You spray liberally and evenly on damp, not wet hair. Do not apply other styling products to damp hair. Blow dry each section using a brush and it will last you up to three shampoos. I was using this as like a shine spray. So like I was spraying it over dry hair and it was okay, but it wasn't anything special and it's because you need to blow dry it and you need to use it properly. If you do, it's gonna help your hair be super soft and shiny and silky, and it's gonna help with the humidity, which is my, like, I need, I need help with that. There's other products that I use that are not, like, Amazon products that I can talk about in a whole hair care video if you guys wanna see it. I am not an expert, and I definitely don't take the best care of my hair, but over the years, I've gotten significantly better and I found a lot of products that I really do love and a lot of them are available on Amazon. So those are my hair care faves. Okay, two more. One is my waffle blanket that I have on my bed. It's like really good in the summer to have a blanket for me that's not too soft, but also like it's gonna add a layer to my bed. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I can't sometimes deal with like fuzzy blankets in the summer, like it just makes my skin crawl. So this is a little bit like what you would consider like a hospital blanket to be, like it's lightweight, it's got the waffle texture, it's dry feeling, like it's not fuzzy, it's like a summer blanket. And I had been on the hunt for one because I had those in my childhood and I swear they must have been like handmade or something like nobody sells them. And then I did finally find this affordable ass blanket on Amazon and it ended up doing exactly what I needed it to. And I've had mine for over a year. It's actually quite nice because it's white and it's not like turning colors or anything like that. The only downside and we don't have our cat anymore. She was 20 over 20 and she ran away to die which is really sad the only downfall is if you have cats that have longer nails like she she kind of stopped um taking care of herself as she got older and she would jump up on the bed and get stuck the waffle blanket texture is not great for cat lovers or people who have cats jumping on their bed that's the only downfall um but it stayed super white it's really nice and it's actually kind of like aesthetic in my eyes. So that is from the brand Bedshore. Bedshore, that's like a top seller too on Amazon. So it's probably going to go on sale. I would add it to cart. I think I got the queen size one personally. And then my personal favorite purchase that I ever made off of Amazon is my window unit air conditioner that it's a U-shaped air conditioner so the whole butt end of it sticks out and is outside and you close the window onto the unit 
so it's pretty much silent you don't hear it running in your room and that is why I have it I have it in this beauty room so that if I need the air to be on it's really really quiet I'm looking at her right now and I'm just so appreciative I'm on year three with my u-shaped air conditioner um, and it has an app you can use with your phone um, it has a swing so it swings up and down it really like gives you a nice breeze it's not like your typical air conditioner it's definitely a bougie really amazing air conditioner in my opinion like if you have to have a window unit get a Medea u-shaped air conditioner I have one more it was hiding this is my belt bag this is all that I've been carrying lately for like my purse and whatever I just keep a few lip glosses money tampons my car keys and what else is in here my airpods three lip glosses, my car keys, tampons. Um, it's got an outside zipper pouch with all my tamps, some cards, some coupons, whatever. This is an insanely comparable alternative to the Lululemon belt bag. I bought one for my cousin, the belt bag from Lululemon, and we were together over the 4th of July, and this is identical minus the branding so it's pretty much the same exact thing um and i carry this instead of mine which is ridiculous i have a white one from lululemon and i carry this because i don't want it to get i don't want my white one to get dirty so i shouldn't have even bought that one honestly everyone's carrying it like this you see how this like has some movement when i first bought this even on the loosest and this is not the loosest even on the loosest, it barely fit me, which it's it's an eye opener for this weight loss journey. It really is. This was under 15 bucks. Crazy, crazy. But that is it for this video. I'm looking at the time and I've been filming for over an hour. So I really hope this is not too, too long for you guys. This is my first time really diving in with an Amazon video like this. So I hope that you guys like it and let me know if you have any really good finds. Um, quickly, real quickly, I'm gonna show you or tell you what is in my cart for Prime Day. Okay, Ninja Cups, my boyfriend's body wash, the Dove Men Plus Care. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be on sale. A milk frother because that's how I stir my Ninja Creamy proteins you're not supposed to, I don't think you're supposed to use it for that but mine got wet so I need to buy a new one and it's probably going to go on sale and then the Hamilton Beach egg bite maker I need that in my life it's $25 right now so if it goes any cheaper so worth it and the duo brush on lash adhesive is like a super repurchase thing for me I'm going to add in my eyelashes as well and yeah, I have to think about it. There's also, do you guys know the brand Bagu? That's like super popular right now. It's like the same, like, I don't know. I'm thinking about getting an alternative from Amazon for 15 bucks. And I also have a pack of poppy soda in there. So that's my cart. If you like this type of video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below and subscribe if you want to stick around for more videos. And let me know if you want to hear about the weight loss. It's something, I think the subject can be touchy. It definitely can be touchy. So I'll leave it up to you guys if you want that or not. Um, I think I do have some insight to share, but I'm not quite there yet personally anyways, so just let me know if you think in the future that you could benefit from hearing about it. That's all I care about. Make sure you follow me on my other platforms. We have another one now too. There's Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, and now there's Threads, which I've been thoroughly enjoying. So follow me on Threads if you guys want to chat over there, and hopefully I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.